Peace family, welcome back to Heroes of Black History. Today we are discussing Alexander Miles, an Ohio boy. And even though he is the man that improved the elevator door system, I really had to like, I gotta run down his life real quick. Because we're having a few brothers right now, like Richard Spikes. Uh, last brother, Philip Down, is like just a few brothers that just took their situation and made the absolute most out of it, you know. This post-slavery era of America where black men are able to just exemplify every fucking and expose every lie, expose every fucking myth, expose every single fucking falsehood put up against us for centuries on end, for real. So Alexander Miles started working as a barber in Wisconsin. Working at a barber, he starts creating hair care products. We see a problem of that. And we see that tradition today with a lot of brothers being barbers, you know, of like a brotherhood. So the precursor kind of starts right here. He's working in this barber shop um, in Wisconsin before he goes to Minnesota. And he's working on the fourth story of this building, you know. So he uses his earnings. He moves from Wisconsin to Minnesota. And in Minnesota, he starts a real estate office. Probably a baller move at the time, quite honestly. This is a baller-ass move today. It became the, the first African-American member of that county is that the Duluth County Chambers of Commerce. Um, he erected his own buildings. He had his own block. And this is where the innovation for the, come on, the elevator comes in right here is one day he's walking with his daughter and an elevator shaft is open. He's like, nah, not for my baby, not I. And then he cre he improves the design of the elevator system. There was a patent for the elevator already, so he was not able to get the patent for that. But his design for the elevator is what we are still using with some innovations, of course. Like, oh, it was probably like 18... 74, so I pray to God that the elevators improved since the 1890s and the 1870s. Um, lastly, he moved to Chicago, Illinois, where he started a life insurance firm or a life insurance agency. And then he moved to Washington. You know, he was one of the wealthiest black African-American men of his time, you know. So that's just, I know this is a pretty long video, but that is a blueprint right there. Working from the bottom, building yourself up as you can, maybe moving around a little bit to find better opportunities in different areas because you're free. And then, you know, banking on yourself and using what you know, using what you're good at, and innovating upon it. God bless this guy, and God bless y'all. Peace.